What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Chill, where I Graham G.S. and Matthews break down all the original content to watch on the WWE Network. And today we're talking the March 20th, 2021 edition of Talking Smack. One quick note before we get started here. I am still watching content on the network until I can absolutely not access the network anymore here in the U.S., so I did notice uh, Talking Smack has always gone up at 10 a.m. Eastern Time every Saturday since they brought the show back last year. And really all of their content, since they started putting things up early on in the morning, the day that they're released, they've done a great job of releasing it automatically at 10 a.m. every day. Maybe Peacock will be better you know, with this going forward. But I did notice, because I was curious, I checked this morning like at 11 a.m. Eastern Time or 12, whatever it was. I did look it up to see if Talking Smack was uploaded at that point, and it wasn't on Peacock. Now, I don't know if that's since changed. It might have. But either way, WWE uploads things as soon as they advertise it well. You know, as soon as they advertise it for 10 a.m., it'll go up at 10 a.m. that day. Peacock, again, I don't know if this is something they're going to get better at in the future, or if... Because, like, Talking Smack doesn't, like... Premiere. It like is uploaded to VOD at 10 a.m. I think it airs at 10 a.m. too on the network, but you could watch it really at, at, at 10 a.m. And, and skip through shit at 10 a.m. if you want to, if that makes sense. I don't know if you're going to have that with Peacock. Now, I know they do live stuff on Peacock, like Raw Talk and 205 Live. I haven't tried that shit live yet, so I don't know how well it works. But it's going to bother me if Talking Smack doesn't go up at 10 a.m. Eastern Time the same way that it would on the network. If they're just going to upload it whenever on Peacock because it's kind of out of their hands and it's more of an NBC thing, that's pretty shitty. So hopefully that doesn't change. Again, it could go up on, on Sunday mornings for all we know instead of Saturdays or go up at fucking Saturday night. That's going to screw me up and I might have to start putting these reviews up the next day. I think I've done that in the last couple of weeks. Um, but I might have to, I don't know. It depends on when they upload it. So just one quick note for anyone who watches Talking Smack here in the States on the network, because obviously that won't be an option in a couple of weeks. So I, I loved how Kayla and Paul just immediately got into it with their first guest, that being Sasha. We had that a week or two ago with Apollo Crews where they didn't even welcome him on. He was just there. I don't think it was last week. It was like two weeks ago, I think, or two or three weeks ago. And they just got into it. Like, unlike Raw Talk, even with Kevin Patrick as the new host, and he does a good job, I hate the structure of Raw Talk where... <laughs> this is the worst part, too. Raw Talk literally airs right after Raw. They air so many recaps of shit on the show. One, the stuff that they recap isn't that good, usually. But two, the worst part is that we just saw it. SmackDown airs the next... Or Talking Smack airs the next day, the day after SmackDown. Yet they don't recap anything. Because they know well enough that, hey, we just saw it. And they give that... Because Raw Talk and Talking Smack like go around the same length. So they give more time for the promos and the interviews here on the show as opposed to the fucking recaps and shit I don't care about. Now, granted, they did air like three commercials during this thing. WWE inserted commercials about WrestleMania tickets, Fastlane, and COVID vaccine vaccinations. Uh, getting getting your COVID shots. I, they, they put in a lot of commercials this week. But overall, I thought it was a good show. So the first guest was Sasha Banks, the current SmackDown Women's Champion, who's coming off a successful title defense on SmackDown against Nia Jax. She discussed retaining her title and how she's walking out of WrestleMania as two belts Banks. You know, with under the assumption that she and Bianca will become WWE Women's Tag Team Champions on Sunday, and then she will you know, defended at WrestleMania and also successfully defend the SmackDown Women's Championship of the show against Bianca. She says and clarifies there's no heat between her and Bianca. And that was really about it. Sasha kept it short and sweet, though I cringe. And I'm sure she does this on purpose. I cringe every time she does that dumb laugh, the forced laugh, which again, I know it's all in character, she came across like a complete heel here, but I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be a tweener slash babyface, so I don't know where the Sasha character lies, but the laugh is just so annoying. Again, I know it works with her as a heel, like it gives me more ammunition to boo her, but it is just so obnoxious. I hate the laugh. I hate the fake forced laugh. Other than that, though, this was well done. It was the standard stuff from the standard blueprint of the SmackDown Women's Division, that being Sasha Banks. So good stuff, nothing really 
anything worth writing home about here, but it was fine. The next person they have on was Apollo Crews. And the first thing that he says is that he wants Kayla to call him the next intercontinental champion. And Kayla's not a sheep. She doesn't like, oh, oh yeah, I'll call you the next nice champ. Because, like, who's to say he might not be if he loses on Sunday? She goes, I'm not calling you the next intercontinental champion. And then Heyman butts in and goes to the camera. He looks right in the camera and says, we got rid of the wrong female journalist around here. <laughs> that got a pop out of me. Obviously, it was a joke at Charlie Caruso and the news surrounding her. Heyman, I have no doubt, will say, like, what he wants on these shows. Maybe that was a line that they scripted for him. I don't know. They're clearly playing off of the Charlie Caruso rumors that she's either done with WWE or she will soon be done with WWE once her contract expires because she was booted off of Raw. She was booted off of Raw Talk. So they were playing into that stuff. I thought it was funny. Um, even if it was a shoe, I mean, I'm not a big Charlie fan anyway, so who cares? Apollo Crews said that, you know, K- Kayla said, oh, did it take you losing for you to realize who you truly were? And he gets all pissed and he says, this has always been who I am and I never lost anything. All I want now is gold, and I will win that gold on Sunday. And he says, friendship doesn't matter. I'm not jealous of anyone. And Heyman also gives Cruz a pep talk a pep talk here. I thought the interaction between them, as always, was very good here. Heyman is essentially like a manager for Cruz without actually calling himself an advocate for Apollo Cruz officially. I thought this was cool, though. And then Cruz, one more time, addresses the camera. All right, you know, Paul Heyman actually says that he wants Cruz to come back next week as the Intercontinental Champion, because initially he told him, go out there and become champion. He failed. But now he says, come back next week as the champion, as the Intercontinental Champion, and show the world that I was right about you. And Cruz says, as he looks into the camera, Big E, you are leaving Fastlane on Sunday. I'm leaving Fastlane as the new Intercontinental Champion. You're leaving Fastlane on a stretcher. So I thought that was great. And then they address Heyman real quick, does Kayla, about uh, Eric Bischoff being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame this year. It was announced on Thursday and after the bell with Corey Graves and Vic Joseph. Uh, Heyman says that the Hall of Fame is not complete without Eric Bischoff in it, and that it's well earned, and that he's also made a very significant impact on the industry. That being said, he is the only one from the late 90s between himself and Vince McMahon and Eric Bischoff were all company heads at that point on TV that is still relevant to be still relevant enough to be on TV in 2021 as a regular character. (laughs) Heyman's got to praise someone and then immediately get a dig in there as well. So I thought that was funny. He also says that Brian is a hope. He's a dream. He's a prayer. But Roman Reigns is where prayers go to die. And that the only person that can help Daniel Bryan, I think he said, was God. And he he legit, he he, you know, said word for word that even she knows that Daniel Bryan is not man enough to tap out to Roman Reigns. That's what he said. He said that God is uh, the only person that can help Daniel Bryan and that even she knows that Bryan is not man enough to tap out Roman Reigns. So I thought this whole thing with with, uh, with Paul Heyman talking about Roman Reigns was well done. And that he's also going to drive two challengers away at Fastlane. And it doesn't matter who he faces at WrestleMania. Brian, Edge, it doesn't fucking matter. Because regardless of who Roman faces, he will be the main event of WrestleMania no matter what. So I thought, that again, this was great with Heyman. He, it was his usual Heyman hyping up stuff. Um, he's been doing some of his best work in years alongside Roman and here on Talking Smack. Because Heyman before, it felt like he would cut the same promo when it was just boring uh, when he was with Lesnar, but now with Roman, he's got new material on Talking Smack. He's got new people to play off of. It's great. It's great. So this was not a great episode. It was a good episode. Sasha was her normal, you know, self. She effectively furthered her story. Apollo was really good, and even Heyman was great too. So pretty, pretty enjoyable episode. Once again, of Talking Smack this week for March twelfth. Um, sorry, March twentieth, two thousand and twenty-one. And one more time, I don't know what the status of Talking Smack is on the Peacock. I saw the shows uploaded there, all the old episodes, which is good. I just don't know if they're going to put it up as soon as it would be up on the network on Peacock. So I don't know how much control they have over that type of stuff. And I also hate the season shit, too. It's like, oh, season 5, episode 12. Like, it's so fucking confusing. I just want to know what the date was, what the year was. None of this season shit. Oh my god, it's annoying. I hate the seasons. 
I hate it. I, I think it's probably a peacock feature. It has to be in seasons, but it's still really annoying. Oh, my God. Anyway, this was good stuff. Check it out right now on the WWE Network or on Peacock. And no, for those wondering, I'm not changing the name of the show to Peacock and Chill. That's stupid. The network will still exist. Even if the network closed down everywhere in the world, I would still call it WWE Network and Chill because it's just a better name than Peacock and Chill, which sounds stupid. But anyway, guys, have a great week. And also, before I go any further... um. Before we wind down here, I should say, be sure to uh, like the video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content, including exclusive interviews with Shotzi Blackheart, um, you know, the, the young rock star, Yuli, from uh, Young Rock, portraying Dwayne Johnson in his college years. We had an interview with Daniel Bryan on Friday. More to come this coming week, including video interviews. I'm trying to do more of those, so be sure to stay tuned for all of that stuff coming up this week and from the past couple days by, again, subscribing, subscribing, subscribing. If you haven't already, please do so. You are greatly missing out if you are not already subscribed here to the channel. Have a great weekend, guys. Enjoy the first day of spring today. Pretty sure March 12th. Uh, I said March 12th again, March 20th. Pretty sure that's the first day of spring. So enjoy it if you're in a warm weather climate. If not, sorry. Um, enjoy it, guys. I'm Graham Jason Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.